we are in Sicily. And this time, I'm not here with Valentina, but with Elena, my sister. It's the 14 year wedding anniversary of parents. The plan is a road trip in the South Sicily, Siracusa, the Baroque towns, Agrigento, and the Temple Valley of Agrigento. We are in Siracusa, more precisely in the eyes of Ortigia. In the ancient time, Siracusa was one of the most important towns in the Mediterranean. In its heydays, it was even more important and bigger than Athens. We are starting tasting the real local food with a Sicilian granita. Many civilizations came to Siracusa and left their legacy. For example, the cathedral was built on an ancient Greek temple. Here we are in the cave of Dionysus. The cave has an incredible acoustic. Every little sound is amplified, like a Dolby surround. Now, the legend says that the ruler Dionysus was putting the prisoners here. And thanks to the acoustic, he was up there, was able to listen what they were like um, telling with each other, even if they didn't know. We are in the archaeological park of the Neapolis, the new city in Syracuse, with ruins from the Greeks and the Roman times. Today is dedicated to the Baroque towns of Noto, Modica and Ragusa. At the end of the 17th century, the area was hit by a terrible earthquake and the towns were rebuilt in the unique Baroque style that we can see today. We are in Noto. It was rebuilt 15 kilometers far from the original site under the leadership of architect Mr. Gagliardi. Behind me you can see the Cathedral of San Nicola. Okay, we have noted Noto and next up is now Modica. of the Baroque towns here in Modica. We are in Ragusa, one of the oldest towns in Sicily. It was found by the original Sicilian coming inland when the Greeks started to colonize the coast. This is the house of Commissario Montalbano, a very famous TV series in Italy. And from this house, he does really long walk away long, along the beach. sunny, there is the beach, there is the sea, the 21st of April, 
and it's the first win of 2018. Right now we are in one of the most important places in the entire Sicily. Alone, it brings more than half a million people every year. I'm talking about the Agrigento and its palette of the tampons. This valley was built by the Greeks and uh, it's remarkable because the, the Hellenistic presence, even if it was like almost 3,000 years ago, has been fundamental in the history of Sicily and in some aspects has shaped the history of Sicily. With the help of a little bit of imagination and a little bit of fantasy and a little bit of curiosity for history, stones can help us to imagine, to understand essentially the life of uh, our ancient people, where we come from. Uh, Agrigento is a, actually is, is, is very interesting city. It's totally different from Syracuse. Syracuse is like a pitch perfect for a postcard. It's, it's much more real. Right now we are touring all the churches and the site of interest that the city has to offer. Just incredible. It's probably every part in Sicily that we've visited so far. Today we take a break from temples and archaeological site and let's go exploring some more modern art. We are in Favara, 10 kilometers outside of Agrigento. This is a small, beautiful Italian village which was quite in decline in the last decades. In 2010, uh, a couple decided to buy a, a few houses here. They were completely run down and abandoned and essentially established here a, a cultural park. It's called the Far Cultural Park is now a reality which hosts exhibitions, events, um, street art and everything related to, to art, architecture and creativity. It's a really remarkable place because essentially it has put Favara back on the map. We are in the main square of Favara and behind me the castle of Chiaramonte and the church of the Rosario. We just arrived at the stairs of the Turks. Look, this amazing wonder. Uh, the, our last destination of this small round trip around the south of Sicily ends here at Mount Etna, the main active volcano in Europe. Sicily is strategic strategically positioned exactly in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. That meant that many population, many civilizations want to come here and establish here and left like their legacy. I'm talking about the Greeks, the Phoenicians, the Romans, uh, the Arabs, the Byzantines, the Spanish, the French, the later the Italians. All of them, they left something here, part of their legacy, the culture, the tradition, and that is probably what makes Sicily so unique and so rich in everything from the food, to tradition, to cultures. And that's probably the reason for someone to define Sicily, probably the most beautiful region in Italy. 